want to do um, cell today and the last time I was teaching on um, the ribbon tools and, um, and I was doing some kind of rare things and I didn't understand so this time around we want to take our time and go through um, the cells so with this one um, the place I've highlighted which is um, the DE DE because I've highlighted that place is called an active cell all the ones that have not highlighted it are not an active cell so then I can select more active cells this is how it's going to look like if you select more than one active cell it's more than one active cell by simply holding um, the, but the left bottom and dragging it down to wherever we would want it to be so we've created multiple active cell we've selected um the active multiple active boxes there are a lot of things that i can do with the selection that i've made here and with this one you realize that the active cell is gen 12 which starts here the one with the white um portion although it has been selected um when you press enter the active cell changes to gen 13 when you press enter it changes to j14 and so on and so forth ah uh, yes so then there are a lot of things that um you can do with the cells that you selected and you can select it um um in the column form you can also use the column to select it and i told you that there is over one million cells in a sheet uh -huh. so then you realize that the selection there are a lot of changes that i can do here i can move from from um, this one supposing there is words here i can select vertically horizontally diagonally just mention it and i'm selecting you understand and as i told you I said when you are pressing the enter it changes the cell the active cells you would want to type in so supposing you want to type in h q r f which means I1, I12, I13. So, based on the range of cells you've gotten, you can just do that uh, manipulation and everything is going to be okay. And I told you that with the row, uh, column, ranges, you can select the, the row, the whole of the column by clicking on, let's say, um, the five, the row five. You click row five and you realize that you've, select, you've selected the horizontal portion of the cell all. Yes, and when you come to the, the, the column uh, reference, you realize that when I press down the A, A, when I click on A, it selects all the cells in A. And I told you that if you would want to get to the later part of the sheet, you want to know the amount of cells in it, you press Control and then the right arrow key. Control and the right arrow key, and it takes you to the later part of the keys. And you would press um control let's say control and the left arrow to come back and let's say if you want to go to the bottom part of the key you press control and down an uh, arrow and if you want to come back you press the up arrow and you know them then the number of cells in the sheet so then yes um and also um i almost forgot you can also click there is a column in between the row and the column uh, references and it looks like an arrow pointing straight like that so when you click on it it selects the whole sheet it selects the whole so I told you um, how the cell is being named and you'll find it here um, let's see if I am dragging down and selecting um, a row and a column at the same time without leaving the mouse you realize that it says I've selected five rows by three columns. Yes, five rows by three columns. Five rows by three columns. Uh, if I leave um, the mouse, then automatically it shows. It goes back to the active cell. It shows which cell is active. So that is, you would see the relevance of it when we are getting to the later part of this lesson. Um, and also if you would want to sell a multiple you want to select a multiple cells and also if you want to select a multiple cells um, 
with the with the with the active cell now selected you press on your keyboard shift and you select any portion and you realize that it just selects the whole portion uh -huh. so when you press shift it comes to select the whole portion and when you press control let's say you need a, a particular cells you would want to select a particular cells with that one you press control and you click on a cell you click on a different cell you click on a different cell click on a different cell and you'll be selecting multiple cells within the sheet 